What's up, Anime Ball Z fans? We are at Armageddon with Kyle Hebert, the voice of Dragon Ball Z. Oh my god! He doesn't sound like that. He sounds more like this. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. I'm Mo, I'm Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Get it? See what I did there? Ball oh, this way. Now, we, we do a radio show, and you started out on radio. Like, how did you get into all that? I did, yeah. I had two things I wanted to do since I was a kid. I wanted to be a disc jockey, and I wanted to be a cartoon voice actor. So, uh, through college, I got a degree in radio, TV, film, got a Bachelor of Arts degree, got an internship at a radio network in Dallas, Texas. Ended up doing everything from country to heavy metal to kids' radio. While working for the kids' radio form, and actually it's, it's still around, called Radio Disney, um, this show on Cartoon Network in the United States was very, very popular, and it ended up being so popular that, that Radio Disney took notice of it and says, hmm, we could give away prizes from this show on Toonami and Cartoon Network and Dragon Ball Z. We should do that. Funimation's actually in Dallas. So they went from Radio Disney, did a tour of Funimation, found out that not only did we end up giving away prizes from Dragon Ball Z, we found out there were open auditions going on. So I got to go in finally and try out for a show I was actually a fan of. Fan of DBZ since 1995. Used to go around the house imitating the narrator. <laughs> Lo and behold, ended up getting the narrator. And Team Gohan, amongst other roles like Ox King, Pycon, West Kai. Uh, very obscure little one called Poroshki. He's like a, a bald big guy like me, and, and he was like a wrestler dude in the end of the, the Cell games. Oh, yeah, I remember. Ah, uh, Poroshki, yes, he talks Russian. Awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a wiggly guest over here. I know, look at him. He's making so you our bathroom. Good luck. It's about uh, three miles down that way. Thank you. <laughs> now, um, when I first saw Dragon Ball Z, I, I actually got into it around the teen Gohan, the adult teen Gohan. Mm -hmm. The um, going to high school. Okay. Yes, that's and when I took a little role. My, actually, my favorite uh, arc of Dragon Ball Z is the Great Saiyan arc. Oh, that makes me happy to hear. Because a lot of fans are like, I didn't like it. It was stupid. It's like, no. It was like, not only not just saying that from an actor standpoint, like it's all about me, but. It was a chance to do something different. Like you didn't think Gohan would be that goofy, and that's part of the the charm of the character. It's like he's not just strong. He's you know, and the girls think he's hot and everything. And uh, I mean, he has this real charismatic, nerdy, innocent quality that carried over from his childhood into his adult life. And uh, it was fun just to just play with that and just be the goofy, fake superhero that he was trying to be. Well, the reason I really liked it was it reminded me a lot of original Dragon Ball because original Dragon Ball was not necessarily all about the fights and the lasers, it was more um, about a journey and obviously this is Gohan finding yeah. out what it's like being a teenager. Yeah, going through all the, the struggles and whatnot and yeah, it harkens back to the old comedy stylings of Dragon Ball. Yeah. Um, also, you've also been in um, Taken Top of Guren Lagann. Yes. Thank you. Awesome series, Pierce the Heavens. And also Naruto, which has got to be my, one of my favorite anime series of all time. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. I've been really, really blessed to be part of huge franchises like Bleach, Naruto, DBZ, Full Metal Alchemist, and get on a, yeah, One Piece, and voice King Cobra on that. Um, yeah, to get a, to, to be a part of a fan favorite show like Gurren Lagann, and, and, um, and everything is just like, wow. Pinch me. This is this is like a dream. Now, um, have you got anything planned for the future, like auditioning for any roles at all? Well, as a voice actor, I don't get to choose what I try out for. They come to me. Now, you know, once That's you're really good. well, it is, and then sometimes again, you'll be like, oh man, I really wanted to be on that. You know, like there's a Tron animated miniseries coming out, and I didn't get to try out for that. But I'm a huge Tron nut, and they mostly gave the roles to celebrities, so I don't really. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> well, yeah, and Bruce Boxlight was supposed to be here this weekend, but canceled. Um, he was reprising his role as Tron and everything. It's like, man, just to be a bit part. So I had my agent do some digging. I said, no, they're not really working on it right now. But fingers crossed, maybe I can be Man A or Man B on the Tron uh, animated prequel. Just to get yourself into the credits, basically. Just to, yeah, from a fan standpoint, yeah. I mean, I recorded something for Star Wars as well. Not, not the Clone Wars, but a video game, which at the time they didn't tell me what it was. I'm assuming it's Old Republic, which is about to come out. So hopefully you'll hear me somewhere in there. That would be fantastic to hear. Yeah.
Yeah, or hearing. You can't really look out for me, but yeah, totally. Who is it? Um, one thing that I really loved is one of my favorite series of all time is Booster Ranking, and you actually have a role in that. Yeah, Hiwatari, yeah. And um, why don't you tell us a bit about that style of anime? Because it's not that big of a, it wasn't that big of a hit over here because it wasn't syndicated. Right. But it's got a really big cult following in yeah. Australia. Yeah, that was, uh, it didn't make it much of a splash in the United States as well, but it was intriguing to me because, you know, after Full Metal Alchemist, the whole idea of alchemy, that concept, I didn't know it was going to catch on into any other anime series. And this was the only other one that I knew of that actually tackled that subject. And um, that was a character that I was pretty much cast on without being uh, auditioned. That's always the best kind of call to get as an actor, when they just trust you and know that you could deliver on a part, and they just call you and say, hey, can you come in on this time? We've got a role for you. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's basically how I landed that. What would you say is your absolute favorite role that you've ever done? That's really hard to say, because Dragon Ball Z will always be special in my heart. That's the one that started my career. So Gohan, the narrator, always are going to be like, it's hard to talk. But in recent years, Kamina, by far. You know, that guy is so epic, so manly, and that show speaks to so many people. And it's just such a great positive role, ma you know, role model. It's like a motivational character that is just, it speaks beyond the genre of anime. It just is really, really cool. And I'm really honored to have been a part of it. Um, what was the most challenging role you've ever taken? The challenging, oh, yes. I haven't really struggled with the acting side of it so much as maybe the physical side of it. In video games, if I'm doing particularly a vocally stressful role, a lot of screaming, yelling, fight sounds, that's a challenge because it does rip your vocal cords apart. I worked on Wolfenstein for Xbox, PS3, uh, the Watchmen game, which came out at the time of the movie, terrible game, but I blew my voice out easily doing that. It was rough doing Ryu as well on Marvel vs. Capcom and uh, Street Fighter 4. A lot of, ah, you know, top of the lungs type thing, but uh, I'm still here and, you know, I love doing it. Well, you would have got an experience with that with Dragon Ball, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when people go, there's a lot of yelling in this show or the game, and I go, it's okay, I did Dragon Ball Z. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I've got nothing else. Thank you so much for taking some time out for us. My pleasure, guys. It's been an honor to, to get to come down to Melbourne, Australia, and um, get to hang with some awesome fans. And uh, thank you very much. Right. Hope to see you again sometime. All right. Take care. Anime Ball Z. Catch you on the flip side.